गुड मॉर्निंग डियर फ्रेंड्स आज आप जो टॉपिक भाया है बराबर ने एना दाखला गणीए एम स्वाधी जो दाखिल है कि एक्सरसाइज सम नंबर टू पॉइंट ट्वेल्व ओके सम नंबर टू पॉइंट ट्वेल्व द स्टेटमेंट इज द चार्ज ऑफ एट मिलिकुलम इज लॉकेटेड एट द ओरिजिन ओके हियर द चार्ज X, Y, and Z, and in here the charge is eight milli coulomb. Eight into ten is to minus three coulomb. It is located at the origin. Calculate the work done in taking a small charge minus two into ten is to minus nine coulomb from a point P zero zero three. P zero zero three it means here the P point. ओके एंड हियर द पॉइंट क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो फोर जीरो इट इज ऑन द वाई एक्सिस एंड हियर द पॉइंट इट इज जीरो जीरो सिक्स नाइन इट मीन्स इट इज द प्लेन ऑफ वाई एम से हियर द आर ओके इट इज सॉरी वाई एम सेड इट मीन्स so we have to find out the work done in taking the small charge point P to Q and Q via point R. Well, it means here the I I want to discharge Q and this is the uh, Q dash and here the charge. First we bring to the point R and after that we bring to the point Q. Okay. Now, what we have to work done here? The work is depend on <coughs> depend on initial position and final. Work is depend on initial position and final. We have to plus Q charge bring P to Q via R. Okay. So here the point P. So R P is equal to zero zero. Uh, here it is given the three centimeter. Okay. And R R is equal to sorry R Q is equal to that is the point here the it is zero. Four zero. Okay. So the distance between them here the point here the W is equal to what is the W is equal to Q delta. So Q is equal to here the total work the potential difference between the point P and Q here the V P minus Okay, so Q is equal to it is minus two into ten is to minus nine. Here VP is equal to what? It is K. This is the electric field due to the Q dash. So here the Q dash and RP minus here once again K Q dash upon R. Okay. That is a symbol. Here the potential difference between the point P and Q, and multiply with the Q, it just gives us one. Okay. Now we have to only just uh, calculating this one. Two into ten is to minus nine. K Q dash take the common nine into ten is to nine, and Q dash is equal to eight into ten is to minus three. And in the bracket. Uh, R P is equal to given zero zero three, but here the mod of R P that is three centimeter and mod of R Q it is four centimeter. Okay, 
Now, that is a very simple here the 3 centimeter minus here the 4 centimeter and here the 10 raised to minus 2. I will take it is common. Okay, and that is very simple. Here the 4 minus 3 and divide by multiply 3 and 4. So it is prime. So here minus 9 and plus 9 both are cancelled. 2 it is a uh, numerator so it is minus 3 plus 2 it is 10 raised to minus 1 okay 2 into 9 18 18 into 8 it is 144 okay here the calculation is uh, 1 upon 12 and 12 into 12 it is 144 and then 12 into 10 raised to minus 1 it is uh, 1 point it is this is the okay. Yes, so here the answer is one point two seven. Uh, this is the near about uh, one point two zero. Okay, uh, nearly. यहाँ पे answer जो आएगा वो one point two seven है. तो यहाँ पे उस time मतलब four minus one uh, divided by twelve. So that are the answer is same. Okay, W is equal to 1.2. Okay. <coughs> so the work done during the process is it is 1.2. Okay. So that is a very simple sum. And here we use this equation W is equal to Q delta V. Delta V is equal to what? Delta V is equal to potential difference between the P and Q. Okay. That is simple. Here the potential due to the Q dash because Q dash produce Electric field, so this is KQ dash upon RQ minus KQ dash upon RQ, KQ dash is okay. Now, after that, yes, 2.4B, it is very lengthy sum. <coughs> Carefully. हमें हमें आगे बढ़ना पड़ेगा क्योंकि it is very very निसम there are the two tiny sphere carrying a 1.5 micro column and 2.5 microcoulomb, it is located at the 50 centimeter apart. This is the example, sum number 2.14. And previous is 2.12. Okay. There are the two tiny sphere. It is located at the distance 30 centimeter. That is Q1 and here the Q2. And it is 30 centimeter apart. Okay, now find the potential and electric field at the mean point of the line joining the two charges. We have to find out electric field and potential at the midpoint. That is, midpoint it is 10 centimeter. Here, 10 centimeter. Okay. Q1 is equal to 1.5 micro coulomb and Q2 is equal to 2.5 micro. Okay, now that is simple. First is very simple. We have to find out the potential at the midpoint. We have used this equation. V is equal to V1 plus V2. V1 is equal to KQ1 upon R1 plus here the KQ2 upon R2 K is equal to 9 into 10 is to 9 it is common here the K1 it is 1.5 oh, ok uh, we have to come on 10 is to minus 6 because it is both are minus ok 1.5 R1 is equal to 15 centimeter so 50 10 is to my, minus 2 Okay, that is plus 2.5 into 
into 10 here the 15 centimeter okay so it is 10 is to minus 6 10 is to plus 9 it is 10 is to 3 and here the minus 2 it is in the denominator so it is 10 is to 5 okay here the 1 upon 10 and here the 0 point uh, 5 into 0 0.5 uh, another we have to take it is 25 and here the 150 okay here it is uh, 25 uh, 6 okay 1 by 6 then now 6 and 10 and both multiply at the denominator okay so here the 60 so it is v is equal to 10 is to 5 16 and divided by it is 60 okay that is 16 divided by 60 now the answer is uh, 2.4 into 10 is to 5 okay and the answer is 2.4 into 10 is to 5 volt. Uh, uh, power no, it's a power to 10 is to minus 6, it is 10 is to uh, minus 6 plus 9, it is 10 is to minus 3 uh, plus 2 for 10 is to minus 10 is to 5. Here the 1.5 divided by 15 plus uh, 2.5 divided by 15 because the distance is same it is 10 is to minus 2 is common okay uh, the answer is we have to calculate just uh, 16 divided by 16 okay it is 0 0.266 okay and it is 2.66 into 10 is to 4 okay this is our answer now we have to find out the electric potential what is the electric potential so e is equal to here the both electric charge it is plus so here the because of this electric field even is on this side here the because of this electric field is the direction of the electric field is opposite so e is equal to e1 minus e2 e is equal to what e1 minus e2 e1 is equal to electric field due to the q1 toilet that is a q1 and uh, this is the r and this is the r okay kq upon r minus kq2 upon r so e is equal to k upon r q1 minus q okay that is a simple calculation k is equal to 9 into 10 is to 9 r is equal to 15 centimeter 15 into 10 is to minus 2 q1 is equal to 1.5 and q2 is equal to 2.5 okay so answer is in minus okay because here the electric charge q2 is more than the q1 so here the e is equal to the resultant electric field is in the direction of the charge is more okay so here the minus sign so that it is in the direction e2 and it is minus x direction okay now the calculating work this answer is 4 into 10 is to 5 you have to calculate it it's yourself okay minus 4 into 10 is to 5 volt per meter this is the very lengthy sum so <coughs> we have to calculate it yourself okay now very most important we have to find out the second is at a point 10 centimeter from this midpoint in the plane normal to the line and passing through it the midpoint and this is said that 
Here, here the midpoint is there. This is perpendicular. This is 15 centimeter apart. The distance is there. That is uh, given in 10 centimeter. Okay, this is 15 centimeter apart. Okay, and this is the midpoint. Okay, we have to find out the electric field and potential at the point P. Okay. Yes, so we have to find out the electric field. This is the Q1 charge and this is Q2 charge. Now the electric field due to the Q1, it is in the direction is A1. And here the Q2, it is direction is E2. This angle is meeting with the P, it is theta. And this is also angle is theta. Okay. Now we have to calculate it is just on the point P, we assume that E1 is equal to this is P, here the A and here B. E1 is equal to, I want to just remember the value of E1. It is normal just equation. It is KQ A upon R. That is distance is what? Under root. According to the Pythagoras law, it is 10 square plus 15 square. Okay, there is a uh, under root of 10 square plus 15 square. Okay, according to the Pythagoras law. So, here the KQ, K is equal to 9 into 10 is to 9. Q A is equal to Q1 is equal to when it is given 1.5 to 10 is to minus 6 and divided by R square. So it is square it is 10 100 plus 225 into 10 is to minus okay it is into the 10 is to minus 4 okay square is here so it is 10 is to minus 4 so even is equal to uh, i write directly uh, that is yes even is equal to 0 0.416 into 10 is to 6 volt per meter and exactly I will find A2 is equal to KQB upon R square. It is exactly putting the value A is equal to 9 into 10 is to 9 QB. Here the QB. QB is equal to 2.5 into 10 is to minus 6. And R is equal to it is same as under root 10 square plus 15 square. Here the into 10 is to minus 4 because we have to convert into the meter. Okay. And that is uh, it is 0 0.69 into 10 to 6 volt per meter. Okay. So here we have to find out the magnitude of the electric field. And now electric field is vector quantity. So we have to remember the electric potential, sorry, electric field as a vector quantity. So we write this equation in the form of E is equal to under root E1 square plus E2 square plus 2E1 E2 cos the angle between to electric field it is 2 theta okay that is 2 theta first of all i will find the theta so cos theta is equal to 
This angle is theta cos theta is equal to near side upon here under root 10 square plus 15 square. So this is 10 upon under root 10 square plus 15 square. Okay. So <coughs> this angle is that. Uh, this is coming to the calculation 0 0.5556 it is cos theta and using the table of cosine theta is equal to 15.25 degree okay theta is equal to what 15.25 degree okay and now that 2 theta is equal to 112.50 Okay. Now, substituting all the value in this equation, so this is E is equal to under root uh, 0 0.416 into 10 raise to 6 of whole, whole square plus 0 0.69 into 10 raise to 6 of whole square plus 2. 0 0.416 into 10 raise to 6 into 0 0.69 into 10 raise to 6 into cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta is equal to cos 112.5 degree. Okay. This is the angle between the E1 and E2 that is a 112.5 degree. Now, Calculating all this value, here the cos 112.5 degree it means uh, there is a minus 0 0.38. Okay, the value of cos 112.5 is minus 0 0.38. Okay, putting this value in this equation and after that it is find out E. Okay. So it is very simple and now we have to find out the potential. It is very simple. Potential is scalar quantity. So we have to just calculate the potential in this region V is equal to V1 plus V2 and it is very simple the KQA upon R1 plus KQB upon okay that is K common R common because the distance here same it is distance same and only just QA plus R is equal to what under root 100 plus 2 to 5 okay it is 3 to 5 and under root this calculating this value and putting in this equation and we have to find out okay so this is important sum okay <coughs> now after that 2.18 sum number 2.18 In hydrogen atom, the electron and proton are bound at the distance 0 0.5. Here the electron, here the proton. And the distance between that it is 0 0.53 angstrom. Okay. The estimate the potential energy of this system in electron mode taking the zero potential at the infinite separation of the electron from the proton okay we have to find out the potential energy that is the potential energy is it is v okay that is simple v is equal to it is very the potential of this system is u minus u infinite so infinite u infinite is equal to zero and u is equal to what that is k q1 q2 upon r square 
a is equal to 9 into 10 raise to 9, q1 is equal to minus 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 90, and here the plus 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 90. And divided by the distance between proton and electron of square, okay, there is no square. So 0 0.5 into 10 raise to minus 10. Okay. So that is a minus sign and then calculating this uh, minus 90 minus 90 minus 38 here the plus sign is coming to the numerator it is 90 okay so that is the 10 is to minus 90 okay. and the potential energy of this system is uh, Yes, minus 43.7 into 10 s to minus 19 j. Okay. And we have to convert into the electron volt. Be carefully. We have to, this is in joule and volt, we have to convert into the electron volt E multiply and divide by E. So it is minus 43.7 into 10 s to minus 90 and divide by. 1.6 into 10 s to minus 90 electron volt and this is minus 27.2 electron volt yes so this is the uh, potential energy of the separation of electron and proton okay it is minus 27.2 now the second is what is the minimum work required to the free the electron given the its kinetic energy in the orbit is half of its magnitude of potential energy obtained. Yes, dear students, we study about the potential energy, kinetic energy and total energy in gravitation and we know that E minus E is equal to K is equal to minus UI. Okay, so K is equal to, here given, K is equal to half of the potential energy. Okay, what is the potential energy? Minus 27.2, that is a minus divided by, it is minus 13.6 electron volt. Okay, that is the kinetic energy. Okay, now, uh, we have to find out the total energy. The total energy is what? Total energy is same as the kinetic energy, but here the uh, sorry kinetic energy is plus. Okay, the total energy is 1.13.6 electron volt. Okay, uh, so this is the total energy, and therefore the minimum work required to the free the electron is such that 13.6. We have to give the energy opposite to the total energy, and it is plus 13.6 electron volt. The total energy is zero electron volt. Electron is free from the atoms. Okay. कोई भी atom होता है उसमें electron को हमें free करना होगा तो उसे उसकी excited state में जितनी energy होती है उतनी energy आप उसको दो तो वो यहाँ से free हो जाता है. Okay. Now, what are the answer to the A and B above if the zero potential energy is taken to be 1.606 angstrom separation okay here the separation between the 0 0.53 angstrom okay now uh, it is coming to the infinite distance okay electron infinite distance se hai, proton infinite se hai. to hume ye kaha gaya hai if the distance between the electron and proton it is 1.06 angstrom and it is coming okay and that is 1 point sorry it is 0 0.53 angstrom okay 1.06 angstrom distance between the electron and proton so we have to uh, bring to the bring them it is 0.53 angstrom okay so that is the we have to 
find out the uh, work done. So W is equal to, that is very simple, W is equal to the potential energy at the distance. Separation between the 1.06 and strong, it is very simple. A Q1, Q2 upon 1.06 and strong. And here the plus A Q1, Q2 upon 0 0.5. The answer is that uh, here KQ and Q2 we have calculated this. This is the minus 27.2 Armstrong. Okay, we have to just calculate here KQ and Q2 upon 1.06 Armstrong, and this is uh, yes, uh, that is. We have to convert into the electron volt. Okay, we have to convert it into the electron volt. So this is uh, your electron volt, and this this is calculation is that thirteen point five eight Armstrong. So this answer is minus thirteen point six electron volt. यहाँ से यहाँ दोनों को लाने के लिए हमें कितना वर्क करना पड़ता है? It is minus 13.6 electron volt. Okay, so this is the very simple sum. Okay. Now, sum number 2.9. This is the 2.18. And we have to uh, max sum calculated that it is 2.19. If one of the two electron of S2 molecule is removed, we get the hydrogen molecule ion S2 plus. It is, uh, when the electron removed from the atoms, it is uh, converted into the ions S2 plus. In the ground state of the H2 plus, the two protons are separated by the roughly 1.5 proton E plus. It is 1.5 Armstrong. And the electron is roughly 1 Armstrong from each proton. Here the electron. And it is one inch. Okay. From each electron, determine the potential energy of the system. Specify your choice of zero of potential energy. We have to find out the potential energy from this system. It is very simple. V is equal to Yes, potential energy when the no electric field is present, so we have to only just a that is uh, here the one, two, and three. Okay, so k, q1, q2 upon r1. This distance is for r1. Here r1, and this distance is r2. Okay. Plus K Q1 Q3 upon R2. Okay, Q1 Q3. Here the K only just 1, 2, 1, 3. Here the 2, 3. Okay. K Q2 Q3 upon R2. The pair of two electric charge is that 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3. Okay, here the distance between the electric charge. Now, 9 into 10 is to 9. Okay. Q1 and Q2. It is E square. Here Q1 and Q3. It is minus E square. Okay. The distance is that 1 and strong. 1.5 into 10 is to minus 10. Here I take the common. Here the E square. Here the distance between 1 and strong. Okay. And here the minus e squared plus and minus one. Okay. Now 
take the square in common. 9 into 10 is to 9 is square. We are 1 upon. E square means uh, 1.6 of whole square into 10 is to minus uh, 38. Okay. Now 10 is to minus 10. We the 1 upon 1.5 minus. Okay. So calculating this part, so here the u is equal to our answer is that 19.30.7 uh, into 10 is to minus 19, it is minus. That is answer in volt and we have to convert into the electron volt. So u is equal to minus 13.7 into 10 is to minus 19 and it is divided by 1.6 into 10 is to minus. That is in electron volt and this answer is minus 19.2 okay so the potential energy of this system it is minus 19.2 okay dear friends so here the sum is complete and we have to go further in next lecture thank you very much